Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on Alt Tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys Windows 11 as well as letting you guys know you can install it yourself. Link will be down in the description below. First, if you will, before you do anything, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. And then um, feel free to download it. You don't have to subscribe, but you can still download it. There's not like a stupid rule you would have to do like other YouTubers in order to download something, which I think that's totally stupid, but that's besides the point. Guys, I'm also going to be showing you guys Windows 11 and basically letting you guys know if I like it, as well as being the guinea pig of the next Windows op Windows operating system. So let's get right into this. So first off, as you can see, I got dark mode, and Windows 11 usually has the task or whatever this the icons in the in the center. But I made it left just to make it look like Windows 10 because, quite frankly, I liked how Windows 10 looked, but I didn't like how it there it was too buggy, as well as everything is all over the place. But this operating system is like what Windows 10 should have been. Um, it's a lot more clean. It's a lot more clean. It looks a lot more like Microsoft style. Because, you know, like on the Xbox, this looks like if Xbox had an operating system, this is what it would look like. And that's totally true because it's Microsoft. So I think it's definitely modernized, but let me show you guys how. So first off, I got the dark mode on. Let me first off start by saying, if you have a Windows 10 product key, it will work with your Windows 11 product key. You just got to press, I don't have a product key. And it'll simply just work, if as long as you have Windows 10 product key. So, basically everything on the right side looks the same. This looks the same. The volume, volume looks the same. As far as right now. Network basically looks the same. Microphone looks the same. And you're probably wondering why my thing's just glitching out down there. It's because I had a USB um, port that just got fried, apparently. So, I don't even know how that happened, but I need to fix it. So, that's why it's like detecting USB, but it's not really there. So here is the Windows Start menu. As you can see, we got Microsoft Edge and all these other programs that I might just uninstall. I don't even know why PixArt's on here. I never downloaded that. But then we have recommend Recommendations, which is a lot of the files that you already opened in the past. Like it says like three minutes ago, seven minutes ago, two minutes ago, five minutes ago, three hours ago. And then we have your name down here. And as well as Sleep, Shut Down, Restart. You can also go to your, all of your apps just like Windows 10 has this, you got all of your apps, which is, a, it's it, it's a lot more clean. I really do like it. Um, they weren't focusing on having a buttload of features that don't make sense on it. They were focusing on, um, basically, fluidity. Fluidity, if that's even a word. It's so fluid, guys. And people are saying, oh, you shouldn't download it on your PC. Uh, this is my personal, personal PC. Wait, no. That doesn't make sense. Personal, personal, personal PC. What? No, it, um, this is downloaded on my personal PC, so personal, personal PC. What, what am I even saying? It's so confusing. Anyways, guys, I think basically everything looks the same. Like, calculator looks the same. It's all the same. I think that might be new, actually. Um, search bar is basically the same. Um, for search, search bar wasn't on Windows 10 at first, I don't think. So let's look up File Explorer. As you can see, let's go to File Explorer. There you go. It shows that. Rounded edges, of course. Um, uh, let's go to, as you can see, edge pretty looks pretty much looks the same, besides the, the tab over here. And then if you hold down this, or if you just hover over it, I think you could do split screen, which is I'm not impressed, but this is something that this is something that Mac OS has had for like 10, 15 years, so I'm not really impressed to be honest. Um, of course, before you're able to on Windows, but it wasn't like how easy you'd be able to do it on Mac. Um, and I I've, I basically have the best of both worlds. I have a Mac as well. I have an iMac as well as this computer right here. So, yeah, they have split screen. Um, they have, I don't know if I showed you guys, but task view exists as well. You can make two different desktops. I'll go back to this test desktop really quick. And then, like I was saying, File Explorer, nothing has changed. I don't know if I've said this yet, but... Um, it's so fast that I open it twice, and it still opens both of the pages. And I don't really have that fast of a computer, so... It's definitely more fluid than Windows 10. So, here are these weird-looking icons. I think they look cool. They look updated, but... I'm only saying they're weird, because nothing else besides that has changed. Um, the icons basically are just updated. Uh, the UI is basically... It's still the same. I haven't really opened Microsoft Store. I'm assuming it's the same thing. Email, same thing. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Honestly, I expected more. Notepad, which I can just... I don't know why it's all... Whatever. Notepad's the same. 
And then, like I was saying, everything over here is the same, too. You can disable this now, which is cool. Notifications, I'm pretty sure. Um, Nightlight. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, not really. But yeah, I'm not really that impressed. Uh, I think it's what Windows 10 should have been. Um, but yeah, if you want to download it, if it's worth it, it only took me like two, maybe less than two hours. And I'll show you guys what my settings looks like. Basically every every spec possible I'll show. The startup of Windows or the startup of Windows 10, the startup of Windows 11 looks different. And when you open like documents or if you open like settings, it looks different. Like with the startup, but when you get to the actual program, it looks the same as Windows 10. I think there's a lot more work that needs to be done. Windows 11 Pro, Windows is activated with a digital license. This is not released by Microsoft yet, so it's just a leaked build that someone from Microsoft released. So a lot of people got a hold of it, as well as me. So what I'm going to do for you guys is share the link, the download link. Um, and if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work after a while, if the server, if the if, the, if Google Drive server just stops working, like it's that's happened because many people are trying to download Windows 11. I'll just recreate the file download, but please subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe if it ends up working for you guys. And, yeah, um, tell your family, tell your cat, or whatever you want about, about this video. Share it around to your cat or something. Or hopefully Microsoft can make a cat version of Windows so the cat's interested in watching this. But, other than that, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out SpotlightCreators.com for our full-fledged video slash social platform. I expect every other day content. And as far as right now, on in 2021, is Windows 11 worth it? It's worth it because it's a lot more smooth. They weren't focusing on changes. Like, they weren't focusing on having a buttload of features that don't work like Windows 10. Um, this is definitely the best Windows out there, and I do recommend downloading it if you want the best performance. Believe it or not, the other things that people would say is, don't download it on your computer, but I would because it, I have had no problems besides it being a little sluggish every now and then, which is a lot less than Windows 10. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Every Windows 10 program you have, I'm pretty sure, will work with Windows 11. It's not like Windows 7. Like, like let's say you want to play uh, like a Steam, like, a, like Steam or something. You want to play a game through Steam. There won't be like a Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10 version. Your Windows 10 version will work with Windows 11. So... That's definitely good. And yeah, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. Peace out.